All right. Okay. So we got Barney back. We lost a bit of connection. We thought me and Ronan thought maybe you just jumped onto the course. Yeah, I was thinking about it, but no technology and Matthew Barnaby. I, I you see, you have a whole IT department back there and producers. <laughs> yeah. I'm by myself. Lonely Matthew has to do everything himself, and I am not good with any of it. But I'm I, back. I, I'm I, ready. I heard another voice there trying to help you out. So it looks like you have maybe, maybe a mini IT department. I think I, I, a mini one. Yes, my stepson is, it played earlier, and uh, his girlfriend was the brains behind everything. <laughs> oh, perfect. Well, you're back, which is great. Let's get into um, your best plays of the night. What do you got? Uh, for me, it's it's Vegas. I don't understand why Florida is a favorite minus fifteen yeah. uh, tonight after losing seven two, being dominated in the series. Listen, if they're probably going to win a game, it's going to be tonight. But I'm still with Vegas. Uh, better team, uh, more confidence right now. I know they're going back to Florida, and please tell me why everyone wasn't hammering. I mean, hammering the Denver Nuggets yesterday at minus three and a half. I mean, they should win the series in five. They should win three straight. And again, for game four, they're only minus three and a half. I think this line should be six and a half, <laughs> not three and a half. So I will be pounding it again until the books get this right. Three and a half is not enough points for the Miami Heat. Uh, Denver's just a way better team. Vegas is the better team. Yeah, I was looking at some stats, some props. How about Jokic to get a triple-double is now minus 152. I know he's doing it for fun right now, but, I mean, there's almost no value in betting that at the moment, right? No, there's no value at that. But he is, when he's dominant in that paint, um, and he just does everything. I mean, there's yeah. a reason why um, he's been an MVP. He's been so dominant, and that's why I'm, I'm all over Denver. I just don't think that Miami can can go seven games with this team. They're much more talented. Yeah, I was looking at the finals MVP odds. I mean, I don't know what your opinion on this. I'm thinking you, you probably like Jokic, but he's at minus 1,000. The guy's averaging a triple-double <laughs> throughout the postseason. But his yeah. partner there, who just had a triple-double himself, Jamal Murray, plus 2,600, Barney. Well, I think there's value on, on yeah. Jamal Murray. He could go off the next few games. He's been great. But listen, I, I'm not touching Jokic at that, that number. But uh, <laughs> to me, he is the MVP. I think he yeah. will win it. But there's no value. Is, is there anything that you've seen that can say maybe Miami comes back and, and stuns these guys? No, no, I, I, I just, I just don't see it. They're going to have to hit very effectively from three. If not, they're going to get gobbled up inside the paint on the boards. Uh, there's a reason why they're a number one seed. And for, for a reason, Miami found their way in. It's been a great Cinderella story as yeah. of the Florida Panthers, but I'm going to take the most talented team with the best player in the series. Yeah, I'm with you too. I think Denver's just got too much of them. Okay, Barney, well, really appreciate you doing this once again. Uh, enjoy your golf round, man. Shoot well. <laughs> hey, cheers, buddy. I'll see you soon. All right, thank you. That's uh, Matthew Barnaby, former NHLer and our Bet99 betting guru. Okay, coming up after the break this Saturday, you got a big match in football, soccer, the Champions League. Manchester City taking on Inter Milan for the Champions League trophy. Who will take it home? Sarah Perari of Rune 442 will join me and we'll give up uh, some bets and, and where she's leaning for this big final. Stay tuned. 